Once to format your ebook with Atticus in a few minutes, I'm gonna show you how. Let's dive right in. So firstly, obviously open up Atticus and then type in a um, title of the book maybe. You can insert your author name if you like um, and then choose the file import it in. Now, once you import it in, this is where we may have a bit of touching up to do. It's not going to be that painful. Seriously, trust me, it's, it's only going to take a few minutes of your life. It's not going to take long. So bear with me. I've imported a D2D sample that we used previously to upload to D2D. And um, you can check out that video later on. I'll link it in the uh, cards at the end. But over here, we're using Atticus. So the first thing I say is you don't need the, um, the copyright or title page because Atticus already has that built in. So I'm just going to remove those over here, as you can see and you don't need the table of contents either. So I've removed those. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go through every single chapter to make sure the chapter titles are imported correctly and the chapter contents of course. So this is chapter three but as you can see it didn't actually import into the chapter title. So I'm going to retype it and just make sure you remove it from the um, the, the text and document itself. Okay so that's just something to be aware of. So just go through that like chapter three all the way to how many chapters you have. You know just do that. Okay, now that we've got all that done, just check the um, table of contents to make sure everything's cool. And then check the copyright page if you need to, you can adjust, you know, for, for example, year, um, your pen name or author name, just put those in. And then if you have anything else to adjust on this page, go ahead and do that. And then we just need to go on to the um, table of contents just to triple check and then formatting. This is where the magic happens. Atticus has quite a few themes that these are commercial rights. You have full rights to use. Um, so you don't need to worry about, you know, getting any issues in the future. So just choose a theme, you know, obviously make sure it matches up, you know. So if you're doing like a romance novel, make sure that the theme is kind of romancy, lovey-dovey, <laughs> you know. If it's more a sci-fi, make sure it's got a sci-fi kind of feel to it, um, you know, that, that kind of thing. And once you've chosen your theme, it's, it's pretty straightforward after that. Over here, you can just edit your theme if you like. Things like if you wanted to check, um, for example, the paragraph settings. So you could have drop caps, which is what it is now, or you can have lead in small caps, which is an option you have. Maybe you want the paragraphs to be indented or spaced. You know, that's, that's your choice. Um, just choose one. And then the next bit is, you know, if you like this theme that you've set up, you can save it as a new theme or you can, you know, continue and not save those settings. It's up to you, completely up to you. It doesn't take long. After that, all you have to do is just export the files. In this case, we're exporting a, uh, a PDF. So here's the PDF. We're just going to scroll through it quickly. As you can see, it's, you know, it's fairly standard. It's nothing, <laughs> nothing particularly difficult about it. It's all come out exactly as it should, as it was formatted. Let's have a look at the um, EPUB. I'm going to show you the EPUB next. So here's the EPUB. As you can see, the uh, chapter titles um, are clickable. So you can click one of those and then it will go into the chapter. Um, but again, it's fairly standard. Ebooks are reflowable content. So you just want to be aware of that. I don't put too much effort into controlling the font and font size and all that because, you know, the, the reader may change it. Anyway, there you go. In like five minutes, you got a fully formatted ebook. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Subscribe, like, I shall see you next time.